Hey everybody, this is Norm from Wyoke Mobile Device Repair over here in the Amish Market in East of Maryland, and I am coming to you today to talk to you a little bit about how to share your files, um, particularly your photos and your videos, the polite way, the you know the Web 2.0 way. Instead of you know, a, a lot of us are used to just uh, you know, hey, can you send me a quick picture, uh, pic, uh, picture or something, and then we either text it to someone or we attach it to an email and that's not necessarily the most practical way to do it and in fact I would argue it's the absolute worst way to share uh, the, to share photos uh, for one thing it takes forever for you to um, upload those to wherever they're going you know it's okay for one or you know one maybe two uh, two, two photos but if you've got 30 or 40 or 50 uh, p photos that you want to share with somebody who needs them uh, say you're you know you're you're uh, in a home appraisal business or a real estate business or you're an attorney or something like that where you have massive amounts of information um, and you just want to quickly get those to some uh, uh, somewheres to somebody sending them by email um, is a pain in the butt. FTPing them is well, so 1999. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that year, but you know um, there are more modern, better ways to do it that you actually control access to uh, what photos get shared, and it happens all about automatically in the background. So that's what I'm here to talk about today, and I'm going to talk a little bit. Um, I'm going to go through how to use. Google Photos. Now, Google Photos is in, is similar to iCloud, and the reason I'm not using iCloud is because um, it's actually not as user friendly as Google Photos, but it's relatively the same. You you do log into your iCloud account, you do check some stuff, and you create a link, and and boom. But Google Google, Google Photos is actually what I have. Um, uh, on my test phone, which is uh, this little ZTE, it's an Android device. Somebody uh, gave it to me. Um, I thank you very much for this uh, little phone because I, I use it as a demo phone all the time, um, and it's a perfect little phone because most of the people that are I'm talking to, you guys are you know you use these ZTEs more than anything else. Um, so uh, it's specifically for you guys that that I do make this video for. So, you, I'm going to make the assumption that you do have a Gmail account and that you are logged into your Gmail account on your phone. And I'm also going to make the assumption that you have logged into your Google Photo account, with, which is, um, well, I can't show it on here, but uh, it's the little photo icon in your, on your phone and that you have linked that with your account. It should happen automatically once you open it. It might prompt you to say, do you want to link these two accounts together? Yes, I do. Um, but I'm going to assume that that is taken care of and that you've already taken your photo. Like I did earlier, I took a couple of photos of myself um, and then I let it automatically back up to Google Photo. So without any uh, further delay, let's pop on over here and have a look and see um, what I did. So let's go over here. Now I'm logged into this uh, this uh, testing G uh, email uh, account that I have for Gmail. But where you need to go is photos.google.com. Now here are the three photos that I took earlier of myself. Um, so you know here's one me asking for tacos, <laughs> uh, and then another one you cannot have a taco without a beer unless it's Taco Bell. And then, of course, me just goofing off uh, doing a raspberry. So, those are my three photos, and I want to send them to this other guy named Norman Bauer. Um, what do I do about that? So, I take, I come over here, and this when you hover over the images or that you want to that you want to share, or in, in each individual image, you have this little check mark up here in the corner. So you. you you select that one and I'm gonna say this one here and then you come back over here to your uh, right hand side this is your share button you click on the share button there and then I can start typing a name now I've already sent this to myself once um, actually this is the second time I'm making this video <laughs> um, so I'm gonna type in my name oh there I am oh, I show up I'm going to share that with me and I'm going to add a little message in here. It says, hey, 
check this out. Bang. I sent it. Now if I go over to my Gmail account and I click on update, there it is. The message just came through. And look, there's the two photos that, uh, that, that I shared um, with myself. Now, I did the two photos that, to show you that I had three photos on there, but I only wanted the person that I'm sending to to see those two particular photos. So by selecting just those two and emailing, it only sent those two. Uh, and that's a really important point because sometimes people think when they're sharing something, they're sharing the entire library, um, and that's not the case. It's very selective. It's very precise. I want you to see photo 1, photo 11, and photo 13, and photo 21. Um, and then, boom, you send it off. That's how selective it is. Um, and then if I'm over here, I can click on it and say, whoa, there it is. Uh, you know, so I've received the photos, and I've checked them out. Um, and you know I can add them to my albums or, or download them or, or whatever it is inspect them if, if you know if you're sending a part that somebody has to look at uh, you know or a question about something hey ha have a look at this tell me what this is about you know this is a prime example for it and it's easy for the person receiving it because it's almost immediate there's no there's no waiting to upload the files there's no waiting to download the files they're there um, so the person on the receiving end of that email is going to be able to access them right away. Um, but let's go back over here to photos because there's also the another way to share them. So if I want to share all three of these photos, when I click back over here on the share, it pops this up. Down here you have this little option to create a link. Now this is really handy. To, um, if you want to create this link, um, you can copy it. And if you say you have a website or uh, social media or something like that that you want to post some images to, um, this is really handy because then you, all, all someone needs access to is this particular link and bada bing, all three photos are there that I selected. Um, and so somebody can you know have a look at these photos uh, that's out there on a bulletin board or, or whatever. Um, or if you want to say send these from a different email account, there's another possibility. You know, you just grab that link, go over to Outlook, and you know if it's uh, your business email or, or your work email, pop that link in there and then shoots it off to somebody, and then they can see them. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. This is the modern way that we should be sharing files uh, or sharing media in particular. Uh, you know, and if you're doing it some other way. As you can see, this is just a really, really easy way to do it, um, and it's a polite way, in my opinion, because you know I, you're not sending me a mess load of stuff that uh, you know <laughs> that I don't necessarily want to, uh, to to receive into my in inbox. All I want is that link and be able to access them somewhere else. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and. Um, you know, come see me at the Amish market, 410-870-8060 is the phone number, and uh, yokmobiledevice.repair uh, on the internet. Um, we're here at the Amish market every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday during market hours, and Monday through Wednesday by appointment. So give us a holler. Talk to you soon.